Yeah, g'day guys. Let's talk about political correctness and wildlife on YouTube and other documentaries, you know, and stuff like that. Attenborough and all that sort of stuff. You know, there's a certain theme that wins a large viewing audience and it's centred around the, the worldwide concern for the loss of habitat and wildlife. So when people make wildlife documentaries, they pretty well universally present the creature in their documentary as being somewhat warm and cuddly, you know? But that, of course, is very far from the truth out in the wilds. If you meet a 12-foot-long tiger, its only intention is to eat you, or a bear, or a shark, or a crocodile, or an Australian poisonous snake. Now, this viewpoint that, you know, these creatures are warm and cuddly, uh, being continuously presented to people, gets those who are uninformed and don't live in areas of wilderness uh, into a wrong mindset. Now for this reason I featured in my brown snake videos, I made three videos on brown snakes, some information I felt was important, practical things you could do to avoid antagonizing a snake if you meet one, and also advocate carrying a knife so that if you're attacked by a, a snake you've got something to defend yourself with. Now a knife is actually a pretty weak defense against uh, an attacking snake because the uh, the brown snake, tiger snake and the taipan are very aggressive in their attack. But it just so happens I'm rather good with knives and for me it's effective, you know. For you, you might be better off uh, with something like that fella there, you know. A stout walking stick, you know, which is uh, long enough to keep the snake at bay and also that you can crush it with if it really wants to kill you and there's no alternative but to kill it first. Now, um, this of course emphasises the value of human life. Now the reason why I put on that kind of stuff in my videos is that I'm not concerned about political correctness. What I'm concerned about is if you're a visitor coming to my national park and you're bringing your kids along and you come across an Australian eastern brown snake that you know what to do and that you're aware that this is an extremely dangerous thing and that you should be extremely cautious around it. I'm not concerned about political correctness, I'm concerned about your safety. Now, I've seen what happens when people get bitten by poisonous snakes, and it's not pretty. Even if you get to hospital, the venom in these things is so powerful that you're likely to have extensive organ damage, even with the best of treatment. That's the, the truth of it, you know? So be damned political correctness. I say, do the best you can to avoid any confrontation with a snake, but if you are going to be confronted by a snake, have something in your hand to protect yourself. Now in this I take lessons from the indigenous people who are in this area, and particularly the wildlife officers from the Naranjeri tribe, because most of the wildlife officers in this national park that I live in are actually from the local Aboriginal tribe, and they eat snakes as part of their diet. <laughs> so you get a more balanced view of them. So just to sum that up, be damn political correctness. Take balanced view of your wildlife if you're going out to view it just remember a lot of this stuff is extremely well designed and it can kill you okay see ya